It's the holiday season. Burner, burner. <laughs> Clearly don't know the words to that song. Hi guys, welcome to Just Emily, where it's just me, Emily, talking to you about things. This week is specifically going to focus on the holidays, and the holiday that we celebrate is Christmas. In particular, I want to talk about the things that make me extremely uncomfortable. Number one, without question, is shopping malls. Shopping malls are probably a five on the scale of how badly I want to go somewhere during the normal part of the year. During the holiday season, I'm going to put it at a solid negative two. Anxiety, touching, spending money, breath, ugh. Those are all things that I'm not very fond of and they all exist at a shopping mall during the holidays. I can promise you, you will not find me anywhere near a shopping mall during the holiday season. No way, no thank you, I'll pass. Number two is something that some people actually really like, but for me, I think it's a little bit overzealous. Explain to me why some radio stations feel the need to play Christmas music at 12.01 a.m. on November 1st. Now listen, I just got over being all excited, dressed up as whatever creepy or funny character I was dressed up as, and now all of a sudden, I'm ready for Thanksgiving and you're throwing Frosty the Snowman at me 24-7. I'm not okay with it. I think a pretty good rule for starting holiday music would be the day after Thanksgiving. The people that need to hear Christmas music because they are so overexcited before Thanksgiving have Pandora. And I'm willing to bet like $1,000 that that person probably already has like eight Christmas CDs from various different artists of all of the exact same songs. If you play Christmas music before Thanksgiving, I can promise you I will not be tuning in. This next one has happened to all of us. Oh, hi acquaintance that I've met three or four times and we've spoken casually. Thank you. In your head, this moment is the worst possible thing that could have happened. You, on your end, feel like you barely know this person, but for some reason they felt like they knew you well enough to get you a gift. So now you sit in a whirlwind of panic. Do I open it now? Do I open it later? If I open it, do I have to pretend I like it? And to top it all off, overlaying all of those thoughts is the constant thought, I didn't get them anything. I didn't get them anything. I didn't get this person anything. There have been times where this has happened to me and I have reached for something in the nearest vicinity and handed it to them and said, sorry, I forgot to wrap it. I think that the cutoff for getting someone a gift should be knowing them for at least a year and you've met their parents. The next one kind of ties in with my last video and you can go ahead and check that out if you want to see the people that give me road rage. It's traffic during the holiday season. Now if traffic isn't worse enough as it is, the holiday season brings in all walks of life from different states in the country that have no idea how to drive in your state. If I see an out-of-state plate on the thruway, I will actively avoid you. PSA for the people who are out-of-state and are driving in New York. The left lane is the fast lane. I can barely drive during the holiday season, so to the people who are crazy enough to go and fly during this time period, I will never understand you. This last person is found in every single shopping mall that you won't find me in. It's old men dressed as Santa Claus. I didn't grow up with a fireplace in my home. We had one of those tiny little heating pipes on the top of the roof. So here I am as a five-year-old imagining this extremely robust man somehow squeezing himself into a three-inch space and oozing himself out of the vents in our home and putting gifts underneath a Christmas tree that we bought. If you ask me, that is hella creepy. I will admit there was a short period in my life where I did believe that Santa Claus was real, but when I actually figured out that he wasn't real, mom and dad, your signature looks just like Santa's signature. Just saying. I immediately realized that all of the old men dressed as this figurative character in shopping malls were 
creepy. Explain to me how it makes sense to bring your child to an event and put him on some stranger's lap and then for some reason they ask that person what they want for Christmas. Stranger danger! If you're that person who has taken your kid to see Santa Claus and expected it to be a good time and then realized that it wasn't when your kid screamed because they were sitting in some old man that they'd never met's lap, please explain it to me. I don't understand. The only time that I think this is semi-acceptable is when the person who's dressed as Santa is a relative. Then at least the kid has the chance to, I don't know, smell someone familiar, hear a familiar voice, and then you have the chance of actually getting a good photo because the kid's not screaming his head off. The holidays are my favorite time of year, but those few things, whoo, they make my skin crawl. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. That was uncomfortable things during the holidays. If any of those things make you uncomfortable too, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below with things that I didn't even think of that make you uncomfortable during the holidays. Whoever invented hot chocolate is a god.